Our first resolution, as always, is the resolution of faith, which reads, As we celebrate the 70th anniversary of VE Day, we remember with pride those who fought and died to bring peace to a troubled world. As a Christ-centered and Bible-based organization, we remember the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary in giving his life to bring peace to troubled lives and a troubled world. In response to his amazing sacrifice, we call upon the Sir Knights of the Royal Black Institution to remain committed to the teaching of the Bible and in particular the prophet Micah in chapter 6 and verse 8. He hath showed thee, O man, what is good, and what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. Our second resolution is that of loyalty. As royal blacks or knights, we reaffirm our loyalty to our sovereign lady, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, whose reign continues to set a wonderful example of, a committed serve and of commitment and service in a difficult world. This year the Royal Black Institution rejoices in the birth of Princess Charlotte and we pay tribute to her parents, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, as they continue to be the example for family life. Today we, are affir we reaffirm our loyalty with enthusiasm. God save the Queen. And our final resolution is constitutional. This year marks the 325th anniversary of the Williamite Wars, which changed the course of history in Europe. This laid the foundation for British democracy, which in the act of settlement has provided a, <coughs> a pattern for democracies worldwide. As Royal Black Knights, we reaffirm our commitment to the principles and structures of democracy. We are encouraged that the United Kingdom remains unchanged, but we must not become complacent. We call today on all our supporters and governments to ensure the union of our four great countries continues to strengthen and flourish for the benefit of all our people. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, our resolutions will be proposed this afternoon by Sir Most Worshipful Sir Knight Miller Farr, our Sovereign Grand Master, the Grand Master.